Uh, so really efficient night for you tonight. You know, feel like you were clicking uh, different than normal game. Uh, no, I, I mean I just come out, play hard, play my game, try to do as much as I can on the court, the amount of time I get. And what is it about yeah. Drexel? I feel like the past couple games against them, you've been on fire. I mean, they're a much bigger team than the teams we played. So I mean, I guess the coaches look for me to come out and really be big, rebound the ball, do what I do best. So that's what I come out and do. And that lineup is a little smaller when you yeah. have you at the four with Alex at the five. Yeah. What sort of advantage do you guys get from that? I mean, we're much quicker. Me and Alex are able to handle, create plays for others. So I guess that's our advantage. It's playing against bigger, slower guys. So we're able to make plays for our, our teammates. And when you're playing with a guy like TJ Williams, obviously, you know, a great night for him tonight. You know, the spaces he's able to create for you guys, you know, what sort of advantage did you get when you play with a guy like him? TJ's very unselfish. He's always looking to pass, and all I got to do is make sure I get open, make my shot. It's really good. And eight straight for you guys. How do you sort of keep the intensity up? You know, you got games every Thursday or Saturday. You know, how do you sort of keep it calm? We just got to stay focused, take care of our bodies, eat right. Make sure we're dialed in in practice. You know, shoot around, whatever we do. We gotta keep it rolling. That's good. Uh, a couple of fouls early on. How do you keep the energy going when you call off the bench? Just gotta stay positive. I mean, things like that are gonna happen. You just gotta keep providing energy. We're down some guys, so you just gotta keep it going, no matter what. Always have a positive attitude. Which guy shot almost 61% of the field today? What was really working? Yeah, I thought, um, you know, in the first half, although it was a little clunky, I thought we got we got good shots, and we, I think we were shooting 57 at the end of the first half. So we were sharing the ball pretty well, um, but we were a little uh, disappointed in our defensive effort at, at that point in time. I thought if we could string together enough stops, that we'd be able to come out away with the victory. But obviously, uh, second half, I thought we, should, we, we picked the, the shooting up a little bit even more and uh, made some shots and were able to stretch out the lead. And you mentioned it being a little clunky in the beginning. TJ looked like he might have been, you know, forcing things a little bit. Are you surprised at all that he was just able to kind of settle in and have the game he had? Yeah, I, I mean, he's a very experienced player. You, you know, he he auto corrects uh, very easily at this point in his career. He knows when he's a, a little bit, uh, you know, at, at, at a sink and uh, makes the necessary adjustments on the on the on the court. You know, it's not something where you have to take him out of the game or call a timeout or anything. It's you know, he's a pleasure to coach right now with his maturity and how he's leading us. And uh, Alex and TJ, I think, combined for like 13 straight together at one point. You know, those guys just seem to bring it on big occasions. Yeah, those guys have been the cornerstone and the foundation for our team all year long. They've been as consistent as any two guys that I can remember in terms of bringing effort and attitude and, and energy to the court each and every night. And then we're getting, you know, contributions from various guys on different nights. And I thought Max was outstanding tonight. Uh, if it weren't for a couple of early first half fouls, he could have had a, a monster night because he was off to that start and really did a great job for us, provided a tremendous amount of energy on, on the backboards to, and defensively. So really proud of him this evening as well. And we asked about it last game, but the, the lineup with uh, him out there at the four and Alex at the five, that really seemed to work against Trek. So what was it about that? Yeah, they went a little smaller, too. Uh, you know, Rodney Williams got in a little bit of foul trouble, and they were kind of, I think they were taking advantage of a, a little bit of our size. And uh, we went to a little smaller lineup and switched a few things, which, which kept us on shooters and, and limited that. And that's, I think, where ultimately we were able to stretch the game out with that small lineup. Devon had nine assists in the game. Yeah. It looked like he was handling the ball maybe a little more. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's just, you know, he's progressing as a player. You know, he's, he's got his head and eyes up. He's getting into the lane. Uh, he's making good decisions. He's got um, a much better understanding of the offense. And he's playing relaxed basketball. Uh, and, uh, you know, certainly when he's moving the ball and TJ moving the ball, you know, makes 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 uh, for, for the game to come easy for the other players on the court. And uh, coming up with Towson coming up next, I mean, they didn't start out great to conference play. They got to win the night, though. Yeah, Obviously, a tough team. They're they're a really good team. Uh, you know, the schedule is is what it is. You know, we were fortunate enough to start out our conference schedule at home. They they on the other hand have played a lot of conference road games, and I don't care who you're playing in the league. It's it's tough to win on the league, uh, on the road and in, in league. And so you know, they're a good team. They were picked, you know, among the leaders in the league for a reason because they have a great. Uh, returning core group of players, and it's going to be a very difficult matchup with a very quick turnaround, 2 o'clock on Saturday. So we've got to get a rest tonight.